In today's video, we're going to take a look at Metrics Kit, a relatively newer framework from Apple that lets you capture various metrics, hence the name, about your application's performance. Before we jump into things, drop a like down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe and let's take a look at Metrics Kit. So I'm going to use an existing project that we often use on this channel, which is a dessert application. Now the app you use is a little irrelevant. Of course, you're going to be using your own. I'm going to give this a run and we'll just see that this is a pretty trivial recipes application and we'll dive right into Metrics Kit. Now, Metrics Kit allows you, as the name implies, to capture a bunch of built-in metrics already for you, things like load, CPU usage, memory, all the good stuff. But it also lets you capture a bunch of custom metrics. And whenever you're developing an app where you really care about performance and quality, especially as you get into larger apps, think things like Google and Facebook and all these enterprise companies building you know, apps for billions of users, you really want to capture very granular uh, events and instrumentation about your application's performance. So prior to Metrics Kit, you could do this yourself with some custom tooling that everyone's got uh, in terms of these big companies. And Metrics Kit makes your life easier. So I'm going to import Metrics kit at the top of this view controller this is the tab bar controller and we can actually integrate this anywhere across the entirety of our application but we're just going to do it here as a first start so integrating metrics kit is quite simple in fact what we want to do is import it and in view to load i am going to call a function called setup metrics kit and we'll define it right down below here and essentially what we'll need to do in here is get a handle to the manager, which is a MX uh, metrics manager, which actually has a singleton off of it. So I'll just get the shared instance like so. And essentially what we want to do is we want to tell the manager to add self as a subscriber for metric based payloads. And we'll talk about what the heck that is momentarily. So here we'll say manager add self. And of course, it's going to yell at me because I haven't conformed to this protocol yet. But let's go ahead and do that down below in an extension. So I'll scroll down here, create an extension on this view controller, and it is going to be a MX metric manager subscriber. Now, this has two functions that we need to bring in called did receive payloads. They're both called the exact same thing, in fact. But the difference is the payloads vary. So in one of them, we have MX metric payloads and the other one we have diagnostic payloads. The general idea of metrics kit is you get these payloads. You can see that it's a collection. You can also access prior uh, metric payloads and Xcode will save these for you in the organizer or you can actually parse these into dictionaries and upload them to perhaps your own backend. Uh, think of something like your own proprietary server or Firebase or what have you. So essentially what I'll do for now is I will just do a simple for loop over each of these payload collections and we can actually get data from the nth element by getting the dictionary representation. And finally, I'll just print it out. One caveat is you can't actually simulate metrics kit payloads in a simulator. You will need to do that on a physical device for obvious reasons. Now let's go ahead and just copy and paste and dump it there. And congrats, you've integrated metrics kit. It's literally that simple, but we're going to take it one step further since this isn't all that fancy quite yet. So metrics kit, like I mentioned, gives you a bunch of out of the box things to track things like CPU, IO for disk, memory, uh, app launch performance, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But what about all of the custom events that we presumably care about? Because chances are your app is doing something like, you know, um, rendering something in a way. Maybe you want to track if a user is tapping a particular controller or a button to a controller, how long it takes to lay out, so on and so forth. So luckily, Metrics Kit offers us a pretty clean way to uh, create and log containers of our own information. So we need to create a log handler. Now to make it reusable, I will create an extension off of the MX metrics manager itself. And let's say we want to log the loading of our controllers. So I'll create a static constant here called controller load. And this will be the 
uh, static method call here, which is, I believe, make, make log handle. And then we just supply a category of what this will be uh, basically identified by. And I'll just use the same name as our constant here. And just like that, we have essentially created a bucket for these custom logs to go in. Now, how do we actually log these custom events? Again, pretty simple. So let's say we want to call this right after super viewed at load. We can say MX signpost, and we are going to call this function here. The first thing that it wants and that it's asking of us is what type of log is this? So there is a event we can log or a begin and end. So begin and end is pretty interesting. So perhaps we want to track how long uh, layout subviews took. So we could put a log at the beginning of begin and a log at the end of the function of end. In this case, we just want to know when the load function was called. So we're going to go with the event type. The next thing here for this parameter, it wants basically the OS log, the container that this is associated with. So we'll say MX metric manager and we'll call upon that static constant that we added. This way we don't need to create it every time. And finally, we can also spec specify a name in here, which is a static string. Uh, AKA you cannot interpolate anything. So if I try to interpolate, you know, some time inside of here, it will actually yell at me because it wants a static string. So perhaps we will say this is for this controller. So we'll now know that this is a controller load and it is for this guy. So again, perhaps we want to see how long the load actually took from the beginning of uh, view did load and then all the work we do in the middle here and some controllers do a whole lot we can toss a begin and end signpost just like that and this terminology of signpost is pretty common for performance uh, based frameworks and just functionality so if you ever see signpost around uh, that should be a pretty big uh, signal that this is performance uh, instrumentation related so that's how you would go about creating your own custom events off of metrics kit Obviously, you should re, uh, you should copy and paste this in this case, but you should build these in a way that's reusable so you're not creating these uh, log handlers every single time. Ideally, you probably want a wrapper object around MX Metric Manager that'll also obfuscate the logic of uploading these logs if you have, uh, have that perhaps in your application. So let's say we have another... Uh, log handle here for layout. We can go ahead and take this and let's see we should have I guess we don't lay out in the tab bar controller So that defeats the purpose of my example, but hopefully you guys get the point You can have as many log handlers as you'd like so that is metrics kit in a nutshell It is pretty trivial to integrate in your application But it is incredibly insightful especially when you want to you know squeeze a little bit of more performance out of your application you want to make sure that you know none of your frames in your ui are hanging you're not dropping any frames no hitching uh, you can do so with metrics kit so that is all i've got for you guys today if you haven't dropped a like down below make sure to do so it helps out a lot with the youtube algorithm let me know in the comments if you have used metrics kit maybe perhaps something else leave a comment if not for metrics kit definitely for youtube engagement and once again if you have not subscribed smash that subscribe button let's keep the channel going and growing together always appreciate connecting with all you guys on the socials as well thanks again for watching i will catch you on the next one